Eclipse will open its own web browser where you can log into Amazon. I suggest you open an external browser so it'll be easier to copy and paste the information. What you can do is sign in through Eclipse and copy and paste the link once you've signed in. Click on AWS Access Key Identifiers and you will get your access keys and account number. Copy and paste the URL into an external browser. If you scroll to the top, you will see your account number. Start by copying and pasting this into the field provided. Do the same for the access key ID and the secret access key. Once you've finished, click OK and your account will be ready to go. Now we can begin to create our Java program. Go down to the server console, right click, and add a new server. Click on the Amazon EC2 Tomcat version 6.0 cluster and click Next. Go down to the Elastic IP, right click, and choose a new Elastic IP. Now go up to the key pair, right click, and choose a new key pair. Name it whatever you like. I'm going to name mine Test Key Pair. Leave the security group as the default and click finish. Your server will be created. Now go up to file, new, dynamic web project. Name your project whatever you like. I'll name mine Hello EC2 World. Click Next. And click Finish. You will also need to create a servlet. Go up to File, New, Servlet. and we'll give it a class name. Click Finish. I have prepared a line of code which I will be copying and pasting into my program. We will be replacing this line of code. This is what I have prepared. If you would like to pause the video to copy it, please feel free to do so. I will copy this line of code and paste it into my project. Once I have done this, I can actually now run my program. Simply go up to the Hello World, expand it, and right click on your Hello Client.java. Go down to Run As, Run On Server. Click Yes to save.
the server will be started and your program should be published. For further resources, please click on the following links.